Today we're going to use our box of sticks to help us learn more about circles. So I am going to make a circle. So here I've created a circle. This part of the circle right here, this prick point in the middle, is called the center. It actually comes from a Greek word meaning to prick. So this point is our center. And this line that I drew, the outer boundary of the circle, is called its circumference. So we've got a circumference, that outer boundary, we've got a center, and there's some other parts we can talk about. A line segment that extends from, that has its endpoints on the center, and then the other endpoint on the circumference is called a radius. This is a radius. Radius comes from a Latin word meaning uh, a spoke or a ray. Now, if I have a line segment that has both of its endpoints on the circumference and it passes through the center. It's called the diameter. So this is a diameter. But if I have a line segment whose endpoints are on the circumference, but does it doesn't pass through the center, it's called a chord. This is a chord. So we have that center of our circle, the circumference is the outer boundary, the radius has its endpoints on the center and the circumference, the diameter has endpoints, both endpoints on the circumference and passes through the center, and the chord has both endpoints on the circumference but doesn't pass through the center. Maybe you'd like to trace your own circle and label its parts.